Yo, guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play our Tornelica Melody of Metaphalica. Um, where we left off, Luca has sadly passed on. We're heading to Promise Hill to bury her. Uh, Promise Hill seems to be the graveyard of royalty. So, yeah. I never knew there were ruins under this lens. Of course not. These are the graves of royalty. It's kept secret. All the past popes and holy maidens rest here. By the way, sorry guys, um... My, my whole TV seems to be messing up, so if I do some weird pauses, it's because my TV is messing up. It shuts off every few like seconds or for some reason but it does come back um it shouldn't disturb the video but it is disturbing my actual playing so just to uh let you guys know that i'll hopefully try and fix it on the next part we'll buy the next part you know bring it on in hindsight, I should have probably um started doing some Cosmosphere dives as uh, with Bosch. But I guess we'll, we'll see if we can do that uh, next part. should be okay this is actually very very bad because it's shutting off when I'm doing the timing moments and I uh, it's uh, I, I might have to end this part off early just so I can fix this this is not good at all I thought it wasn't going to be that rapid but it seems to be. Our Delx crystal and a crystalline. Huh? This carving has a picture of suit. Same as the statue in the hill of Metaphalica. Two maidens in soup. Two maidens of true friendship rest here. A.D. 3313. Maiden of Puero. Nenesha. Maiden of Aqua. Infel. Infel? So just as Lord said, there were two maidens 400 years ago. I wonder what I wonder what maiden of Ferrero and maiden of Aqua mean. It's the name of the maiden's proof. I don't know much more than that. The maiden of Ferrero is also known as the goddess maiden. The maiden of Aqua is also known as the seed of love maiden. Back when there were two maidens, it described their role, so they say. Amory. How do you know that? I don't know. I just heard it a long time ago.
Listen All to right, my I lyrics! Lose. <laughs> Can we be as one? Okay, I'm gonna end this here, guys. This is really consistent. I don't want to go on if it's going to keep doing this. I will see you guys in a few minutes. Um, the next part of me recording will be part of this part, though, so just so you know. So, won't be a whole nother part. That'd be a waste of a party. <laughs> but, um, see you guys in a bit. It is fixed, from what I know. It, it, it doesn't seem to be doing it a lot. So I think it's fixed. So we're, we're going to continue on. Looks like this might be where we're going to put her at. Let's rest her here. Luca. I'm so sorry. I couldn't protect you. I skipped that by mistake, Luca. Poo 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 poo. Her life made many people happy. She gave birth to Metaphalica. We'll stay here for the night. Your food will get cold. Do you want to go home? No. I know very well how you feel. After losing her, I realized it for the first time. I can't live in a world without her. I can't believe I didn't know till I got into this situation. I'm so stupid. There are many things you never know until they're lost. I learned that when my daughter died. I was just like you are right now. What? Captain, you had a daughter? Yeah. I don't really talk about it though. 
Her name was Alicia. Oh, crap. Isn't this the girl that... that uh, I, I know that name was mentioned a couple times. She was still little because of me. She died in an accident. Did you regret it? I'd have to be a demon not to. I couldn't even eat for a while. But I still continued my duties as a knight. You see, there were others I still had to protect. Citizens and other precious people. Regretting it and being depressed is the easy way out. But that choice is a dead end. If you choose to stick to that choice, you should go home and rest. I'll never blame you if you do. <laughs> Captain. Thank you for trying to cheer me up. I betrayed you once, but you're still kind to me. You didn't betray me. I merely gave you a choice that time. You're strong, Croy. I don't want you to bury your strength. Can't you use your strength to protect Lady Cloche once more? Stupid, stupid, stupid. Up until the very end. They tricked me, man. They made me pick a side that was gonna get killed. Like, come on. You thought you'd solve everything by only sacrificing yourself. You're always so nice and doing good things. Poo 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 mo poo poo. Soup. Thank you for coming. Poo 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 ma poo poo. Hmm. You'll be my pillow. Thank you. You're so nice, Soup. Uh, Soup's gonna take her to this place. I wonder where this place is. It feels pretty comfortable. Luca? It's nice to see you, Lady Cloche. You look perfectly fine. I'm glad. You... what? Is this a dream? Or are you really alive? Oh, excuse you. Of course I'm alive. Boldly above you. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> I wonder what it means. I think I've become more refined compared to when I had a body. Refined? Body? That time, it was weak, but an ascension occurred. So I was able to c clarify my own direction. Ascension? C clarify? I don't understand. Hey. My mind values freedom and equality most, so... I'll fix the government and lead us all to the promised land. Are you... perhaps... <laughs> hey, are you alright? Sorry, I have to concentrate. Those guys from the Grand Bell are... I'm surprised there had to be two maidens to, to create the land. But you know, I wonder if they were both real maidens. Luca is the maiden of Ferrera, as proof she was able to sing Solfege. Lady Cloche, well, honestly, I don't know. Because I don't know what proof she needs as Aqua. According to the Chancellor, Lady Cloche was baptized as Aqua when she was very young. And as proof of Aqua, she has the control, authority over Enfelpira. Hmm, I see. But, you know, there's something that still bugs me. Hey, hey, Captain. About the time when they were downloading Metaphonica, was Lady Cloche really able to download the song? Mm -hmm. The way I saw it, it kind of seemed like she couldn't sing it that well. If that's true, then Lady Cloche isn't a maiden of anything. Meaning she's just a normal Ravatel. And if that's the case, that Metaphonica couldn't have been a success. That's ridiculous. Are you saying everything we did was a farce? That we were all tricked by some grand deceiver? Lord got them to sing it. I'm sure he knew what he was doing. He knew about the statue in Bell Strike Hall, and that there had to be two maidens. 
There has to be a reason why he would use Lady Cloche for that ceremony. Oh, wow. So this is why uh, they were saying that the New World is temporary because she's not a maiden. Lady Cloche, are you alright? Um, everyone, listen. There's a possibility Luca might still be alive. What? Whoa! Ah! The destruction is happening again. Did she just move? Really? It's impossible. Luca, is she alive? I'm pretty sure she is, but I don't think her soul is in this body anymore. Luca's soul is probably above the sky. Above the sky? What the hell is going on? Damn, this crumbling seems kind of different from the ones before. Let's go see outside. Why, have a uh, why do I have a feeling that we're gonna face a boss? Save a, a new slot. Now where's the way outside though? That's what I wanna understand. Do we just go back like this? I don't know where outside is. Let's go to the far left, see if that was where we had uh, set up camp at. So that might be considered out. Nope. Do we just gotta leave the whole temple? Alright, I'm gonna actually end this here, guys. If I do have to run all the way out. 
gonna be pretty boring to watch. On the next part, we see what's going on outside. See you then. As it should be.